What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video, I will be popping a bunch of shards. Of course, we've got the 2x, 10x going on for Aislinn. I am on a viewer's account. It is Pirate. So Pirate does want me to pull all of his ancient shards here. So we're going to do that for you today. And then I'm going to hop over to my free-to-play account afterwards, and I'll pull some shards there as well. Hopefully we can get Aislinn today. If not, maybe we can get a few new legendaries on either account. But chances are we might get only one or two or maybe even none, depending on where you are at the pity. And of course, let's take a look at the tournaments. This is also for the White Queen and Korra Champ Chase tournament event. Or tournament, not event. And uh, we need to get the 15 fragments. So we've got somebody already at almost 7,000. Is this a five star? That's a five star Aislinn Soul. That's actually pretty cool. Plus the mythical gear, which is really nice as well. Man, I wish they just did mythical gear or like gold, more gold gear, uh, more epic gear all the way down the line for everybody would be cool in the top 10. That would actually be really sweet if they started doing that going forward. So more chances for other people to get relentless gear, which is going to help them towards Hydra pushing and other PVE content. So this is actually pretty nice. 1500 of these gold coins for the Altar of Souls is not bad. If you were able to get lucky and pull a bunch of epics or maybe a couple legendaries in the mix. But again, you could get really unlucky and not pull many epics as well. So we're aiming for 3650. So we're going to pop these ancients. Let's do this. Let's do the first two and then we'll do 10 pulls afterwards. And there you go. Epic right off the bat. Frostbringer is actually pretty decent in Cursed City now with the heal reduction, especially on the Nether Spider. And decreased defense is not bad against those bosses as well. And then increased speed and increased attack on your allies is pretty decent. But she does have defense and dungeons. And I don't know if Curse City considers dungeons. So that kind of stinks. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Come on, legendary. Ah, rare. Okay, we've got a wagon bane. Continuous heals, decreased defense, decreased accuracy. Meh. We want that Aislinn. We want that Aislinn. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. 580. That's just what? Two epics? We've got a Basilisk and a Zargala. Both of them are really old champions, but they're very strong. The rest good for the uh, specific clan boss teams. The like myth air teams. Let's keep it going. Another 580. Two more epics. So that's decent so far. Lockwain is a part of the Mikage fusion, I'm pretty sure. Did he need Lockwain? No, he already got Lockwain. Oh, he has plenty of Lockwains. He doesn't need Lockwain. All right, let's keep it going. Here we go. Here we go. 30 left. 30 left. Another 580. So we're averaging two epics per 10 pull, which is not bad. That's 500 points per 10 pull. That's pretty good. That's pretty good get some more here we go here we go 100 ah oh, that's all rares that's all rares that's no fun that's no fun at all all right last pull last pull here we go get him something good 340 so one epic all right i i definitely jinxed it when i said that about getting two epics per so that really stinks let's see where he's at for points the champ chase uh, he only got the first five. So that does stink. Let me just double check to see if he wanted me to pull anything else. But I think he just wanted me to pull that. And then he'll possibly pull the rest with mysteries. Yeah, I think that's what he's going to end up doing. Let me just double check though. 52 ancients. Oh, he wants me to pull two prisms. Okay, perfect. So two prism shards right here. He does have two to pull. 6% chance. Here we go. Aislinn, come home. We got a legendary. Oh, you have no idea how excited I was going to be for him. But Tim at the Fool, hey, that's a duplicate, I'm pretty sure. Right? Banner Lords. That's the first time I've ever pulled a legendary. It's not on my account, but just in general, pulling a legendary from the prism pool, it's so hard to get because it's 94% chance to get an epic. But he has one more shot at it. Come on. Is he going to get back to back legendary? Let's see. Let's see. No. Okay. It is what it is. He got Knight Errant, 250 points from Knight Errant, 
500 points from the Timmet. So that's another 750, which is pretty sweet. And he's really close now, or much closer to the 10. So he only needs to pop. Uh, I guess he could just pull mysteries and get the additional 525, 527 he needs to get this additional 10 frags. So not bad, not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over to my other account, Pirate. Thanks for letting me hop on your account. And if you're interested in me pulling your shards on a video, please uh, go join the Discord. The link is in the description below. Happy to pull your shards on a video. All right, so I'm on my free-to-play account, my free-to-play main account. I've been playing this account for over four years. And just one thing to note, I don't accept CC rewards on this account for content creation rewards. And I don't accept any other rewards from anywhere else other than I've always had Prime Gaming. That's the only thing I've ever accepted because I've always had Prime for Amazon Prime. And well before I had this account or even started playing Raid Shadow Legends. So what am I looking for here today? Definitely looking to get a Legendary or two. Hoping to get a Rodos, Nekmothar... Harima would be amazing. Kaimar would be amazing. Those four would be great on the account. Who else would be like of a, a big impact? Obviously, I want Aislinn. But yeah, Kaimar, I definitely want. In terms of... Oh, Cupidus would be pretty good too. And who else do I want? From Barbarians? Meh. I mean, I don't think you can pull Xena. Valkyrie would be actually decent. Although I don't really need her, I already beat all content in the game besides the Curse City, completing the highest stages of Curse City. Uh, from here, I don't really care. Well, Blizzard would be pretty good. I didn't go for the fusion, but he would be pretty good. Ugir would be pretty good. Let's see. Draco Morph's not bad, but he's old but gold. I really want the Nekmo. I really, really want the Nekmathar. Skinwalkers. I mean. I guess Snick Track would be cool. Gwendolyn would be okay for Hydra. Not that I need her. I can already beat Nightmare and Brutal, but she would be good in a Brutal team. Bambus, not so worried about. I skipped his fusion as well. I've been skipping a lot of fusions recently, actually. Then who else would I want? Uh, from here, I guess Nogdar. Iron Brago's okay, but I mean, they'll sit in the vault for a little bit until I can level them up, right? I really want Prince Kaimar. Wither would actually be strong. More to Macabre. I wouldn't mind getting a copy of him. Helicath. That's who I want really badly. Helicath. Especially for Live Arena. So he would be insane. For Undead, I really need Rodos. So I'm only missing Rodos and Blood Gorge from the Undead. Oh, and Nethril, of course. But I really want a Rodos. From the Dark Elves, I don't really care for any of these champs. A long time ago, I would have wanted a Ghostborn, but I don't really need him anymore. Knight's Rev. I mean, if I pull an Ancora, pretty sweet, right? And then in terms of other champs, I wouldn't mind getting a Drang. But again, I wouldn't really use him a ton right away. He'd be like niche for me for Curse City. From here, Trunda. I want, actually do want a Trunda for Hydra. Shadowkin. It's just Harima that I want, really. And then Sylvan Watchers. Uh... Huh. I don't really care about Sylvan Watchers. <laughs> the only one I care about is like Elva duplicates or something like that. All right, let's do this though. I do have some silver. I think I'm just going to pull until I can get enough points maybe for the champ chase for the second uh, set of fragments here. So 15. Somebody's already at 13,000 almost. And I have a panda player in my leaderboard here. Why do I always get the craziest krakens i don't understand i don't get it it's only day one <laughs> what is happening so let's do this i i could never get first place second place or third place in a champ chase or summoning tournament ever and i never have i don't believe on this free to play again we're hoping for a legendary we are 67 ancients in so we're not guaranteed a legendary by any means but if we do get one awesome i'm just hoping for a ton of epics that's the goal but with my luck, we don't even get that many epics either. So let's see what happens. I'll definitely pull out from the fragments 
my legendary Xenogur and the Epic as well. If I need to. I might have to pull like 40 or 50 of these Ancients though. Maybe even more if needed. Okay. So far, no dice. Wow. Not even an Epic yet. Wow, okay. Okay, let's do a 10 pull. Here we go. Come on. Give me something. 340, that's one Epic. Ugh, that's not good. Tashada, I do have a bunch of copies of her. Rares, don't care. Oh man, that's not good. We need more Epics than that. Oh geez, 100 dude? Really? This is a 2x. Come on, come on man. Alright, let me make some room and I'll be right back. Alright, so I had to make a bunch of space by feeding champions. I actually got full in my tavern for champion slots and storage because I've been saving a lot of these fusion champs now. So I have no space left and I don't have any silver Pretty much no energy left, so I had to sell some stuff from the forge and whatnot. So that kind of stunk. But let's do a couple more 10 pulls and see what we can get. Can we get lucky here? Please. 820, which looks like two, three epics, maybe. Yeah, three epics. Ooh, cry it in the blue. I don't know if I have him yet. I think I might have pulled him already. Yeah, I pulled him. Okay. So now I have another copy. All right, let's keep going. All right, so that helped out. Three epics is good. So two more epics here. He is the new rare. He's actually very strong. Not bad. One more 10 pull here. Come on. Can we get a Lego? No, we're not going to get a Lego. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, a duplicate Corrado. That's not what I wanted. All right, duplicate Corrado Fox Hunter. I guess that's what we're going to have to take. That really stinks. So now we're one, two, three, four shards into Ancients. We're pulling again. Man, wasted duplicate on a Corrado. I guess it's not wasted because I can put him in here. Stupid Gamoran. I am leveling up my Corrado, so that's 10% attack. So we'll take it. I mean... Not what I was looking for, but I guess I'll take it. And we're still way off, too. I pulled a lot of shards. Okay. Well, wow. Let's go into the Fragment Summon here, then. We're going to go ahead and pull out Bovos. No, I don't want to exchange. Oh, dang, that was close. Almost exchanged it. 250 points right here for Bovos. And should be able to get 500 points for Xenogur. So that's another 750. So we'll take her. And we'll see where we're at now. And then I can just exchange the rest for some chest. Let's go to the tournaments here. Alright, where are we at? 3650 is what we need. 3490. Okay, so I need 160. Yeah. Do I have enough in shards for mysteries? I guess I could pull two more ancients and just see if we get lucky. Maybe. Maybe we get two epics or maybe we get one epic. That'll actually be it right there. I just need one epic. The new rare again. And I don't have any silver, so I'll be right back. All right. So I did go ahead and sell a bunch of accessories that I don't need. And let's just do this one. I just need an epic. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. I just needed an epic. Just one epic. Why can't we get lucky? All right. Let me just feed some more champions and then do another eight pulls and see what we can get. All right. We made enough space here. We're going to go one by one here with the ancient shards. I have enough silver. Let's do this. Come on. If we can get another legendary, pretty fantastic. But if not, no big deal. Hoping for another Lego, though. So, what is this going to be, like, 14 shards into pity? Come on. Give me one back-to-back -back metal shaper. That's awesome. Just give me an epic. Come on. What's going on? All of a sudden, the game's like, yeah, no, psych, we're going to just keep on giving you rares just to annoy you. It's all good, though. It's all good. We do need the fragments. 
just a little frustrating that I'm not getting an epic. Oof. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so weird. Come on, one epic. That's all I needed. And it's going to keep giving me rares, like 20 plus rares. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. Well, I think I'll just pull the rest in... Not this one. I'll probably just pull the rest in Mysteries, to be honest with you. Because that's ridiculous. Yeah, we'll pull 70 Mysteries to finish off the rest, of course. Of course we don't get that lucky. We did get a Legendary. It wasn't the 10x. Of course that doesn't happen. But it is what it is. I just realized I forgot something. So I... I should have come in here and started fusing these guys. So I actually decided to fuse a couple of these rares. You can actually get 50 points per void. So I've been saving up purposely just to feed these guys, right? And it's 300k just to get one of these rares, but it's 50 points. So I decided to do that and I just totally forgot about it. And so I got my additional points needed so I don't have to pull mystery shards. So I did get the fragments, so we're there. Not too bad. You know, I just figured I'd uh, pop on really quickly in between. This is going to be posted somewhere, pasted in, in the video somewhere. But yeah, I just want to let you know I did get the fragments just from going over here and fusing the rares. So I could do it with this one too if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this one, but, you know, I could do it if I wanted to soon. And then I have a 40 and a 30, which I'm going to get the 40. And then I have two 40s up right here getting leveled up. Of course, I just need to upgrade this guy as well to get a Relic Keeper soon for the next champ chase. So, all right, so we've got it. We've got it. No big deal. It is what it is. I just totally forgot about doing that, and I wanted to give you uh, some information on that you can do that too to get extra points if you're missing out. So, man, that's really weird. Really, really weird. We did get a new champion. Who was that? Vovos, of course, pulled from the Epics. And from Sylvan Watchers, we got the new rare. And then from Shadowkin, we did get pull the Xenogur. So we'll take it, I guess. It is what it is. You know, we didn't get lucky. We didn't get the Aislinn. That really stinks. But you know what? What can you do? Beggars can't be choosers. Hopefully you guys do a little bit better than me. And uh, yeah, good luck if you are pulling. And I'll see you on a video soon. Take care.